A new study by MIT recently came out that looked at some of the cognitive effects of using a large language model like ChatGPT. So let's look at what they found. In the test, the participants were grouped into three sections and had to write essays. One group used ChatGPT, one group used a search engine like Google, and the brain only group wrote without any technological assistance. When the scientists measured the participants' brain activity using an EEG, they found that in general, the more help that's given from a search engine or ChatGPT, the less brain connectivity is recorded. And brain connectivity has to do with how different areas of your brain communicate with each other. So the brain only group with no technology had a more extensive and stronger connectivity network while writing. Basically, their brains are working harder, doing things like engaging their memory and creative thinking, generating new ideas, stuff like that. I mean, this makes sense. Right. This was interesting though. The search engine group actually had the highest levels of brain activity in the areas that are in charge of visual and spatial processing. And the important factor here seems to be that they're not just looking at something and copying it, they were analyzing and being discerning about the information they were reading. Overall, the ChatGPT group had the lowest brain connectivity when writing. Behavioral analysis supported what they found in the EEG tests. Basically, Without using your cognitive skills to think about what you're writing, not only is your brain not working as hard, it's way less likely to retain the information. Most ChatGPT users couldn't remember what they wrote even just a few minutes later. Another finding was that of ownership. Only a small number of the ChatGPT group felt like they had full ownership over what they had written, which again, makes sense. The study doesn't necessarily argue for the total abandonment of ChatGPT or large language models in general. After three rounds of no tech support, the brain only group was able to use ChatGPT for a fourth session. And when they did that, they showed significant increase in brain connectivity across all EEG frequency bands. So that might mean when you start a project using just your brain, adding in technology later could be really helpful. The use of AI like ChatGPT might be effective when its amount and the timing of it are very carefully monitored. 